absolutely love finding new recipes, especially around the holidays. And today we've asked our friend Margot Drake and her daughter Ellie to come with us today to give us some great holiday recipe ideas. And I love this because it's healthy. Yes, definitely. And you've brought us some tasty treats before, so we're just kind of curious what's on the menu today. Good. Well, we're going to start out. A lot of time, um, vegan and people that are gluten intolerant don't get bread. Mm. So we're going to start out with some olive herb biscuits. And uh, to bind them, instead of using egg, um, we are using flaxseed and water. And the basic recipe comes from Bob's gluten-free wonderful homemade bread mix. The, all the recipes today are on your website. Mm -hmm. um, but you can see and smell how um, sure can. wonderfully <laughs> yeah, aromatic and tasty these are going to be. We'll, we'll try them in a little bit. And then for the biscuits, Ellie is going to demonstrate an infused olive oil. Um, we have first start with a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. And then we have a tablespoon of parsley, uh, sage, rosemary, thyme, and oregano, and we just throw it in here. And then we have garlic, red chili flakes, salt and pepper, and we just throw it in here and we just shake it. That's great. I love going to restaurants and, you know, forget the butter. I'm all about the oil. Oh, it is and so And then if there's good. spices in it, it's even better. This sounds absolutely wonderful. It is so good. And four out of the five of those came right from our garden still. So you talk about Thanksgiving and giving thanks for the harvest. Mm -hmm. We're still harvesting. What's great about this recipe is that you can double the recipe, pour half of it into your, you know, dipping dishes, and then just add a quarter of a cup of balsamic vinegar, and boom, you have your salad dressing. Wow, what a Perfect. great idea. Yep. And you know, the thing of it is, too, when you get the flavorful ingredients in there, you use less of the oil, so you really are being super healthy right. when you mm -hmm. talk about it. Yeah, right. much exactly. better. So fresh. Okay, you have another dish that you're going to talk about for us, too, Margo. Right, and so a lot of times, again, vegetarian and vegans kind of miss the boat on Thanksgiving because they feel like they just have to eat all the sides, and they don't get, like, this big, ta-da, main <laughs> dish. Right. Well, that is not the case anymore. Um, we used tempeh which is a fermented soy product and you're going to want to bake that so that's like the star of the show and then we did um, a cranberry apple chutney over the top which while you're sauteing these things they smell fabulous so it's made with ginger green apples onions sauteed with these cranberries you want to be careful <clears throat> excuse me not to over stir it because you still want it to be um, kind of intact you don't want it to turn mushy mm -hmm. and then you, you add cardamom and that just makes your kitchen smell fabulous and um, we do some orange juice in there and then you garnish it with um, the green onions and the red cabbage and I even sprinkled a little more of the cardamom around the outside of the plate and a little orange zest. Oh my goodness, it sounds wonderful. And it looks beautiful too. It really really does. The presentation, the food itself is the star It's show. very colorful. Well, vegetarians, as you were saying, you know, it's all about a turkey on Thanksgiving exactly. and, you know, Christmas ham or whatever meat. This is a way you can have something really special and delicious. And so they're going to feel appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Okay. And what we appreciate, Carrie and I, <laughs> dessert. 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 Of course. Exactly. I'm so glad that we had time to get to the dessert. This is so fabulous. Red wine and cracked pepper sorbet. Oh. If you can make spiced apple cider on your stovetop, you can make this dessert. It's so quick, so easy. A half a bottle of a good red wine, get it to boil. You're going to add, oh yes, please taste it. Yes. Um, you're going to make a little steep, a little steeping um, bag with some cheesecloth um, with the normal mulling spices, which are allspice, cloves, and cinnamon. You boil that, you add your berries, you blend it up, put it into an ice cream maker or a freezer dish, and again, recipes online. But um, yeah, it's delicious. So good. You're going to want this one. This is better than some sorbet I've had in oh, restaurants. Yeah, yeah well, it needs to be so fresh. And I do taste the pepper, but not in a weird way. Well, right? not it's in an awkward way. Kind it's of delicious. unexpected. Mm -hmm. I love using herbs in dessert because mm -hmm. that's unexpected. And cracked pepper, I mean, for a dessert, sounds a little different. But all the tastes come together and marry very well. It oh, is really great. It's delicious. It's, it's, it really it tastes like what you think Thanksgiving ought to taste like. Yeah, <laughs> you know? exactly. Well, Ellie, Margot, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for Ellie having us. Ellie is an amazing certified raw chef is yourself. These are great ideas for vegetarians and people who love vegetables mm. for the holidays. Or you want to stay healthy. Yeah, definitely. Fantastic. Well, hopefully it inspires yeah, some thanks of you. Thanks for coming in. Check thanks out for the having recipes us. online. Yeah. We'll be right back. So, really? 
That's West.